Bobby Grill? Yeah. If I just sit here and scream, you can hear me, right? <laughs> That's what my crew says. Sit there, I can hear, I can hear him scream clear across to the uh, 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 main lane church. Uh, I'm Bill Hart along with Brian Billings. Brian? Well, I got the first, I got the last name right. Yeah. Brian Billings. And uh, he's a, a fellow journalist at the uh, Springfield Paper. Not yep. that he's just on the Springfield Paper. The Springfield, Springfield Paper. The Springfield Paper. Happy to come to you again from Joe's US 40 Grill on the beautiful West End of Springfield. Hi. Down to the gravel pit. Now, i got to tell you guys, I know if you've driven past the gravel pit, it's starting to come down now. They're starting to move things around. So all you people listening to us over there in Peru and Poland, we're sticking with peace tonight. Okay. And uh, uh, you'll be glad to know that the gravel pit is going down. And by the gravel pit, we're talking about the brand new hospital site right here in, in beautiful Springfield. Is that foundations I see you put around? Or what's the little red? Supposed to, yes, yes indeed. Little red towers, I don't know. It's supposed to be a 200 story building. 200 story building? It's, it's going it's to be right there with that, that building of Taiwan. Okay. We have distinguished guests tonight, or at least guests, <laughs> and uh, Coach That's Slagle's with us again tonight. Yes, as well as uh, Assistant Coach Schilling. And uh, so. Uh, Come on. Uh, everybody here tonight. Thank you very much for coming by and uh, enjoying a burger and one of our, our favorite burger spots. Our very own burger spot. Yeah. And uh, we have a 555 quarter pound burger fries and drink special every so day. Here. Yeah. So are you. People are knocking it down. You even get free cheese. Okay. It's, it's not government cheese. Okay. It's free cheese. It's American cheese. The real deal. All right. You can even have cheddar on it. Okay. Okay, before we get into it, my soapbox for the evening, I'm going to shut up. All right. On the corner of McCrite and Limestone here in Springfield, I call them gypsy oh, no. food people. Here I go tonight, going over there, and what do I see? People serving food out of the back of their truck. Guy was talking about it. I was at Gordon Food Service, bringing it up, and the girl there says, Well, I'm going to have to go over there and try it. I said, Okay, you got three things you need to go over and try it. Number one, no health permit. Number two, guard your kids or I will steal your kids. <laughs> <laughs> and number three, they don't speak English. So, okay. go, go, right. Right, go right over and give them a try. Right. Okay. That's it for the soapbox. No comment there for me. <laughs> I'm not touching that one. <laughs> you can have a lot of fun touching that one you want because I'm not backing it down. All right, let's talk about Wildcat basketball. Yes. I'm going to turn it over to you, Bryant. Okay. That's right. All right. Coach Slater. All right. Uh, Springfield got their uh, first tournament win in, what, 50 years last night? The Springfield High School, that is. Um, rebounded from last year because both North and South lost their final tournament games ever first round. So it was a good win overall. It was 71-60, uh, I believe. That's right. 71-60 win over Vandalia Butler at UD Arena. Uh, Springfield was down early, but they overcame the deficit to take a 21-20 lead at the end of the first quarter. Uh, they only lost the lead one more time that night in the second quarter, and they quickly regained it. And then after the second quarter, they kept it the entire night, and Butler was only able to be, uh, come within four points, and that was only once. Uh, Zach Burks led Springfield with 18 points, while Latrell Leslie added 12, and Robert Moss added 10 for Springfield. And you know those names if you follow Wildcat Basketball and the Springfield Paper each week. Uh, now Springfield now moves on to play Charlotte Madison in the... Um, Dayton Division I sectional final game at 3.30 p.m. this Sunday, March 8, 2009, at the University of Dayton Arena. Thanks, and as Bill said, with me right now are Springfield head coach Bill Steigl and uh, Springfield assistant basketball coach Mike Schilling, right? Correct. We're glad, glad to have you both here right now. We're going to go in and talk about it. We're going to start with the game yesterday for anyone down there. We're going to have you make an opening statement about the game last night and how you think everything went. I thought the guys did a great job. We had a week off to prepare. Uh, we gave them a couple days to rest, and we had four good days of practice. I think it showed last night. Uh, we lost the lead, uh, as you mentioned, uh, one time in the second quarter. After that, I thought we controlled the game relatively well. Hi, guys. Yeah, I thought the theme last night was just being unselfish. Uh, we moved the ball extremely well. We hit the free throws at the end when we needed to. But overall, it was just a good Wildcat victory to start the tournament. You know, she was saying last night, too, about assists and sharing the ball. And you guys did an excellent job with that last night. You were out on uh, one play. Your center, Trigger Creek, ah, got a steal at midcourt, took it down, and passed the ball off underneath the basket. A very athletic play, especially for a young sophomore. Uh, I think
think the defender set up to take the charge. He avoided past the ball. I believe Robert Moss to finish. Uh, it was just a good overall team effort. Uh, we're going to need it again on Sunday. Uh, Trout was the number two sec or, excuse me, number two seed in Dayton. Uh, they bring a lot of athleticism, uh, a lot of size. Uh, but I think we're going to be up for the challenge. Okay. Now uh, you didn't you didn't draw a bye, but there was uh, it, that was your first tournament game last night. So the season was over a week and a half ago, the regular season. So it was in effect a bye, except that we're, by definition wasn't a bye. So what do you do through that time span? You know, you're not playing any games to keep your guys fresh through practice. Well, I think one thing you need to do is give them a little bit of time off just for mental sake. Uh, it's a long season. Uh, we played two games the final week of the season against Centerville and Pickwell. So we gave them a couple of days after that. Then we came back with a, a renewed sense of focus. Okay. We're going to do two or three things, but we're going to do them really well. I thought one of them was pressure the basketball. I thought the other was move without the ball. Uh, we had four good days, as I mentioned before, about having practice. One of the things we emphasized was moving without the ball and then getting them the ball. I thought you saw that last night. Uh, we ran our sets, but a lot of the times we push the ball down. I will go get sugar for it. And they continue to move. I think that's what we stressed in the week off, uh, and I think it paid off last night. Now, one player, uh, Zach Burks, who led you guys with 18 points again, he has been struggling as a late scoring wise, but he really seemed to come on okay. last night. Right. He played like a senior last night. Uh, both offensively and defensively, he was active. Uh, he went to post a little bit more. Uh, he had an advantage uh, size-wise. Uh, he took the ball to the basket strong. Uh, he missed a couple free throws, which is unusual for Zach. But overall, I thought he played a great game, and uh, that's what we need from seniors in the time. When it gets down to tournament time, a lot of it is maturity, who's been there before. It's a big stage. There's a lot of people there. The bright lights come on. And you're going to have to step up if you want to continue the tournament. And, uh, Zach was an excellent example of that. Now, your new floor at uh, New Springfield High Gymnasium is a larger floor, right? Absolutely. So they were able to uh, play on UD's larger floor, and they weren't they wear out last night. And we talked about that. Uh, in the past, uh, adjusting that floor might take a couple of games. We told the guys before that that floor is the same loop as ours we practice on every day. There's no disadvantage. We're used to that. Uh, whether it's a fast break opportunity or defensively spreading people out, we do that every day in practice, so it wasn't an issue at all. Yeah. Now, uh, going into other players you have uh, on your team that done, uh, have done well so far, uh, Trey DePriest is one. He has really come on now. Uh, player for Vanguard, he bubbled six foot nine last night, A.J. Packer. He was able to guard him with... Great efficiency last night. Uh, you know, uh, box him out, get rebounds, did an excellent job. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, AJ uh, was one of six players named all G Walk in all divisions. Uh, so that tells you what kind of player he is. And he did get his points, but they didn't come easily. I thought Trey really wore on him, uh, both offensively and, de and defensively. Uh, he gave up quite a bit in size, but uh, Trey's a strong young man, and he did not let him get the ball where he wanted. I thought it was also important we had people come down and help. I thought Terrence Leslie did a great job of coming in and scrapping and getting loose balls. Uh, I know he got popped in the first quarter, got a little bit of a bloody nose, came right back and played hard. I thought he was a big key in the second half also. Just his hustle and determination really made a difference. Yes, it did. I mean, you, you talk about him. He really, he's really gonna come on this season. His first year on varsity. I mean, he, he's a small guard too. I, mean, I think he's uh, five six or five seven, right? Yeah, we may lift him at five eight, but that's probably being generous. Okay. Uh, I think the key word is what you said: his first year. Uh, so much of this is the first time of doing things with a combination of schools and getting used to playing together. And I think the more we play, the better hopefully we've got. Uh, it may not always score on the show on the scoreboard, but if you look at uh, our numbers and how we've competed, we've improved as the season has gone along because we got used to playing together. Uh, his first year as a varsity player is tough, especially.